I am an artist who believes everyone is an artist. The problem is, it's easy to forget within. This is a sentiment that's going to run throughout our morning here together. And I believe it's my mission to remind you. I'm an artist in the way you may expect. I'm a painter, printmaker, drawer, but I believe artist is a relative term. I define it as anyone who has the courage to come to the canvas of life and expose his or her gifts, his or her gold. I was recently on two very different bike tours in Europe. The first bike tour, the guide simply did his job. He took us on the designated path. We listened, paid, and left. But on the second bike tour, the guides were artists. They took us on a journey. Their enthusiasm and excitement for the land and the history was contagious. They navigated beautifully. Although they'd been doing this for many years, it was like they were exposing their gifts for the first time. They didn't have a paintbrush in hand, but they definitely exposed me to a masterpiece. It's not about what you do, it's about why and how you do it. Passion is golden. I see an artist as someone who has to walk through his or her own fears in order to see the gold within, in order to see the artist that will inspire others. I am an artist who believes everyone is an artist. The problem is, it's easy to forget. The well-known artist Picasso said, every child is an artist. The problem is how to remain an artist once we grow up. I think there's many reasons why we don't remain artists when we grow up. Why we cover the gold within. I think many of those reasons boil down to one word, fear. I can't be a musician because I'm not good enough. I can't be a painter because I won't be able to pay the bills. I can't make a difference because I'm too young. I don't have enough time. I can't make a difference because I'm too old. I can't, I can't, I can't. We all have fears and challenges that we must face and what we have to walk through. Just like you, I have my own challenges. You see, I'm dyslexic. Yet, just as I have, we learn to overcome these challenges by making adjustments, by remaining positive, by having faith, by focusing on our talents and skills that we excel at. The artist Matisse said, creativity takes courage. When I was studying masters of artists or touring art museums, whether it was an art museum in Europe or in the Art Institute of Chicago, one point was frequently discussed. What makes this particular artist so famous? Why is this piece so valuable? Whether it was renowned artist Pablo Picasso or Jackson Pollock or the Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci, people wondered, why is this artist or piece so special? It's because they were the first to do it. No one else had done anything like that before. Each willing to do something different, to take a risk, to think outside the box. Leonardo da Vinci, well-known artist, said, it had long since come to my attention that people of accomplishment rarely sat back and let things happen to them. They went out and happened to things. In fact, when we look back at the history of art, 
Some artists in their time weren't even liked by many people. They had to face ridicule, and oftentimes it wasn't even until their death that they were accepted. Another quote that I think is inspiring by Leonardo da Vinci, life is pretty simple. You do some stuff. Most fails, some works. You do more of what works. If it works big, others quickly copy it. Then you do something else. The trick is doing something else. I think we all can confirm that we learn from our failures. We have to be willing to take risks, to step outside the box. And it's often in our times of trial and error that we achieve success. Still, there are times in my life when I've forgotten the artist within. In life, there are times where we've all covered up the gold within. In those moments, how do we shift? I would say, follow your passion. Follow your gifts. Being an artist means redefining your fears and your challenges. I know I've had to do that with one of my biggest challenges, having dyslexia. I now can see the gold that it brings me. For me personally, it's interpreting things differently, creating works of art. I have compassion. I empathize with others. I strive to help others in the best way that I can. When I speak, I don't strive to impress with my articulation. I strive to inspire with my authenticity. I'm able to communicate beyond the written. I believe being an artist is a practice. Day in, day out, you have to show up whether you want to be there or not. We have to be willing to expose our gifts. We have to be vulnerable, which is really scary. We have to bring our joys and our hurts and our experiences to the canvas of life. When I paint, I express these personal experiences through the use of color, texture, composition. As much as my work is rooted in or delivered through abstract expressionist language, it is self-reflective and critical, for it always has a deeper content and meaning than what is seen and shown on the surface. Constantly expanding. I'm always bringing life and transforming life into my work. We are all products of our past experiences and connections with other people. Artist Vincent van Gogh says, there is nothing more truly artistic than to love people. At this point in my life, as I move forward, I'm always looking for new experiences to enrich my work. My true gold is compassion, redefining intelligence, creativity, laughter, kindness. Loving people and loving life, inspiring art. What is your gold? Everyone is an artist. I am an artist who believes everyone is an artist. The problem is, it's easy to forget. I believe that shifting from covering up your gifts to exposing your gifts, your gold, is the essence of being an artist. I believe that forgetting you're an artist to remembering you are an artist is the essence of life.